Alright, we're in part 77 of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. This is the first episode of the... Okay, I'm calling it World Tour because, you know, the Digimon the, and Digimon's just generally better than Pokemon, as you know. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be... Does Juna have... Um, what do we drop? Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, yeah, right, so we're gonna go and fix Juno right quick, because we don't want Flash, we want Surf. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, Brock's gonna have water types and stuff, so we probably want to have Surf. You know, it seems like a good idea. Um, right, so what we're gonna be doing for the next several parts is actually going around to the gyms. I think I'm gonna try to do two gyms per episode, otherwise we're gonna be here for, well, 15 episodes, right, so... I don't really want to do it for that. It's, even seven is going to be quite a few. Uh, but the goal is that we're going to get everyone caught up to where, you know, at least somewhat close to what the gym leader and whatnot levels uh, have been. Because uh, we're, we're, I find we're kind of having to, uh, I don't know, lean a lot on Cayman for one thing. Uh, I don't know, it'd be nice to just be able to bop around and, you know, use appropriate stuff. So, uh, so we're going to fix Juna up right here. And get rid of Flash. Hopefully, we do not need that any further. Cool. All right, so uh, we're just gonna be kind of using whoever we really strike fancy to, to use, um, you know, whoever is most fitting uh, for the opposition. And all the time, we're going to have Thurok with the experience share uh, because our Parasect is. Very much uh, lower level than the rest of the team, as you can see. Uh, and very much would like to uh, grab some experience with, you know, with that, uh, as Parasec tends to kill things very, very slowly. Which is cool, but not not so cool in story mode, right? So, I don't even know if this game has competitive Wi-Fi battles or not. Like, it, it, it might, but it'd be cool. To see him in this old style, but anyway, so we're gonna do Brock and Misty in this video, and I'm trying to rem trying to remember what we decided to do as far as. By the way, there's gonna be a lot of running to the PC to grab Dirge and grab them back out to make sure people are healed up. Well. So we are going to be trying to dodge the like junior trainers in the gyms as much as possible. Um, but first we have to go to the statue, and as you may know, and statue is how you actually set the thing you want to challenge. So we can go all the way back to set one, which is you know what we actually fought, I believe, right? Pretty sure we did rock first. Um, so set 15 is what. I mean, we're currently on set 16, because we're going with the 16th badge. Um, so we did this, this was about level 70, this was about level, I don't know, high 60s, I think. This was, I guess, low 60s, this was probably like barely 60. Uh, what level are we currently? I feel like 11 or 12 is probably where we want to be. We're like level 50, dude. <laughs> Alright, um, we may not do the same one throughout, you know, as we're obviously going to be leveling up. I'm thinking let's start on set 10 for Brock, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so we'll, we'll test the waters with Brock, and again we're going to try to dodge uh, Junior Trainer as much as possible. However, I don't believe we can dodge this guy. Uh, we do have Bryn Wraith and Juna. They're going to be our primary two people who handle stuff here. Um, I would also like to have Amulet Coin available on folks. So let's, uh, let's do that. Go ahead and give Juna Amulet Coin. If we don't already have it. Uh, equip- don't, We have a second Amulet Coin, right? I feel like we do. Uh, I think Second Sight has the Amulet Coin. Yep. Alright, so let's just give Juna the Amulet Coin. I'm sure at some point we'll end up needing to use Juna. Pretty sure that'll be the case. We'll lead off with, uh, we'll lead off with, with Haunter. Battles will go a long time. Be a shame if there was a 20 minute time limit. Camper Jerry. That's a Doug Trio. 
Jeez, level 42, okay. We actually can out-level this. By kind of, I mean we, we do out-level this. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. We'll see how Brock goes. We may end up doing a double Brock in this video. Actually, we'll see. Because you know, junior. Well, the junior trainers, I think, were tending to have like more reasonable stuff, and the gym leaders, I think, cranked it up. I think. We'll see. Mm, that actually lived. One damage. No chance for poison proc either. <laughs> Amazing. We're gonna be funneling that experience off to Clarock. What was that supposed to mean? What do you- What? <laughs> anyway. Alright, Jimmy Leader Brock Lobster. Alright, so we see a level 40- Okay, okay, so we definitely should have uh, cranked it up. We were on set what, set 10? Okay, so we could have cranked it up a little bit higher. Alright. We'll go ahead and fight Brock here, and I think we're going to do Brock again, because Brock should have more dignity than this. And that's why I didn't bother healing that one hit point. Uh, right on should go down pretty easily as well. All of that spin horn animation. Eventually, Clorock will get caught up, is my hope. Uh, Amistar... I'm pretty sure Amistar will die pretty pretty easily as well. Uh, however, we can actually just drop a Thunder on Amistar and save a PP. Which might actually not kill, because it's not 4x, but we'll see. And did anyway, alright. I do want to switch to Juna uh, to grab Amulet Coin benefit, though. For sure. Yeah, we still haven't seen Onyx, so I'm sure he's still got Onyx hanging around. Um, we'll just get a good rating, because now, no, now, now I know I have enough PP. And there's the Onyx. So we're up in Juna just because we want to activate Amulet Coin. I'm not gonna ask what itches, but it might be his big rock. Move ice beam back to the top. I think his stabs with that secondary. Gotta look, man. I missed that surf audio glitch. Okay, so the Onyx actually got up there to kind of where we were. That's basically a rare candy right there, right? Alright, so let me actually bounce out. I'm bouncing back in here, not so much to heal as to, uh... By the way, do we actually get healed after that? Is it, is it free healing? I don't think it does, right? Maybe it does, actually. No, it does not, right? I had to check the PP since we didn't actually take any HP damage. Uh, I'm almost positive we have another amulet coin. Yeah, we do, okay. That'll just prevent me from necessarily need needing to go into Juno. It's not like we really need the King's Rock anyway, right? Uh, I don't know why we have, like, HP ups and stuff in the, in the bag, but it's fine. Uh, we'll use that on... Oh, Brynwraith. I feel like, uh... 
low base HP Haunter could probably appreciate that. We're gonna build up. We're actually gonna go do Brock on. Uh, we did ten there, right? And that was like, kind of like a little below our level. So I'm, I'm thinking twelve. I think twelve will be a, a decent showing. So that's kind of what part of this video is too, is figuring out what level we want to challenge or what, what set we want to challenge. I guess not level. Yeah, let's just, let's do let's do twelve. We'll see how it goes. And we may end up to end up needing to progress up to thirteen. I guess we gotta fight this guy again. Dynamic Big Trio now, level 52. Okay. That, that's more in line with what I wanted. Like, like a little bit above our level. Um... I do not feel safe from a... Okay, now we got sped, yikes. I do not feel safe from a, uh, an earthquake in this thing, so I'm gonna make sure to get her in it. Getting one shot, that's fine. Uh, one nightshade, or not, all right. have any flying types, we'll just go into Juno. We could... Alright, you know what? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna sub in Clarock for a second here. He's not supposed to actually be actively participating, but, uh, you know, he's gonna quad resist this. Like, I think, I think we'll be fine, then we can... I feel like Sludge Bomb is still stronger. <laughs> I got a crit. <laughs> All right, gain experience twice. Okay. I'll save uh, save those Giga Drains on Brin Wraith. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to just charge right into Misty or not. Trying to think of how her gym is set up. Because it's set up in the, like, Gen 2 style. I'll we'll have to see on that one. Uh, how much money do we get from this kid? Probably not, like, 10,000. Eh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's decent. Alright, um, we don't need to, like, heal. I still feel like he's making some inappropriate, you know, thing there, but it's Brock, so, alright, now he's got a full team. Alright, now, now, see, now we got that, wait, what is that thing? It's a, I think that's some, that's like they evolved from a Graveler, but I don't know, I think Graveler's the base form. I think that's how that worked out. Alright, uh, we're gonna Giga Drain, cause, I mean, okay, he's probably not gonna Explosion, but, you know, you never know. Now, Earthquake will definitely kill. Oh, Brin Wraith, love it. Love to see that. Fantastic. Lark's catching up. Um, the thing is, I feel like Rhydon has very high base HP. or I know Rhyperior does. I'm a little concerned with that extra base HP that... Also being a primary ground type, it definitely has... Earthquake, right? Totally does. I'm just gonna play safe with Starmie. Now Kabutops, who will need to go into Brin Wraith for. Because I do not have Thunderbolt on my Starmie. I'm gonna go with the 4x for sure. Nice. 
pretty sure Amistar will be able to get, uh, get out code as well. A team! Okay. Um, yikes. Um, well, I think we're gonna use the. I kinda forgot about Cayman having, you know, Steel Wing. It's the first time we've seen that T Tar. It's pretty hype. I guess Brock does have Tyranitar in um, Pokemon Masters, right? One of his like alternate costumes. Pretty neat. I don't know if the yeah, this thing's got it. Wait. <laughs> uh, all right, Cayman, come on. Oh, Cayman, yes. Love it. All right, all right. Oh, we got lefties too. Love it. He's got a hyper potion. All right, can we get a steel wing defense raise? Probably not, but we'll give it a shot. All right, that did not quite do half. Why would you do this, Brock? Why would you do this? Nitto King, you're not. Crashed him. Somewhat ironically, crashed him. Okay, uh, I'm starting to go back to Prime Wraith. Yeah, th this is more the difficulty I was I was expecting. I mean, I say difficulty as you know we're actually just one-shotting things because it's Brock and <laughs> almost all of his stuff is 4x weak. But still, I feel like Amistar has slightly more bulk than Cobbletops. But maybe that's just in the physical side. Regardless, it's dead. And uh, we got the Onyx, which I'll leave Ben Wraith in on as well. Or Steelix! Ah, yeah, that changes matters. Um... Type, but it's still causing him some irritation. Oh, there's Felix still at least two times weak in water, so. The rock is catching up. I'm trying to learn growth. Well, we're growing your level, but we're not trying to learn growth. Um, does it actually tell you what it does? No, it doesn't. Right. There's nothing else we can move to or, or no, move relearn it. Yeah, that's, that's just straight up a rare candy right there. <laughs> I think it was 9,800 for rare candy. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, we could actually, you know what we're gonna do instead of, I'm pretty confident we can like avoid Honestly, I, I really don't want to go grab Dirge, like, at all. I, I don't want to go and menu in the PC. I think it's almost faster just, just to run there. There is, in fact, a working, not a working Pokemon. Um, I don't believe this cave is very long. So we're actually just going to super bell up. This we kind of have a surplus of them. Super short game. I'm literally just gonna run to Survive City instead of go and grab our uh, our fly guy. Right, we will need to get healed up though. So here's where I kind of wish I had Thunderbolt on starting. Uh, also, just in cases that we lose, I am gonna run to PC and drop off some of our money in our account. As uh, we do have a substantial amount of cash right now, we'll just uh, we'll just bother dropping off the nearest uh, thousand. I won't bother with the hundreds. Right. So we did we did uh, set twelve, right? Now last time we fought Misty, she was like habitually kicking her butts, right? So um. Okay, I think we can. Can we surf in here? Okay, we, we can surf. So we can go straight to Misty then. Good. Uh, well, okay, no, actually, yeah, Brinwraith is who we want to lead with, I guess. Alright, we 
got a Golduck. That might have Psychic. It's possible for it to have Psychic. I think. There was, at the very least, some kind of a, uh... Event that we're at. Um, we're gonna go and rock a thunder on him. Love it. It's every time, 70% of the time. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Renray. Yes. The Thunderbolt probably would not have killed. Probably would not have killed. Quag, oh. You think we don't have a grass move? Alright, Quag, I love you in the TCG right now, but. Gotta go. stand on Lapras. The thing is, I don't really have another... Brainwraith is kind of all of our good offense right now. Um, I feel like we have to drop a Thunder. There we go. Okay, okay. Look how much this does. I, f I feel like it won't kill? Um, I definitely do not think Giga Drain will call. I think we have to Thunder. Alright, nice. Starmie, we're gonna get out of there. Um, so... I don't really have anyone who can... Uh, probably second side, actually. Actually, let me use Maycar as a uh, death fodder for a moment. Cause I want to heal Brynwraith up. It's just Luminae will probably get us to close enough to full that I feel okay living something. At least if we can get an initial Giga Drain off and restore some hit points. That's fine. And we're gonna have we're gonna drop in second sight. And then we'll go with And Zap Can's tempting, we're gonna go bite. And see look, the Star is already level 58, right? So even on set 12, uh, some of the more ace Pokemon are still out leveling us by a couple levels. Except for, you know, Bernard, but Shoot him. So, yes, I clicked that move knowing that it has a 25% chance to go through. We'll get it, don't worry. <laughs> Probably safer to go with Bite. Use no more, I'd like to see it. Do not have quick attack anymore. Fortunate. Um, probably need to hyper potion here, right? All right, we're gonna take the chance on on some dumb stuff happening and like getting confused right there. Still got the amulet coin going on. Uh, feels okay dropping in. Yeah, Juna's actually a little bit lower level. Juna's almost to uh, Clorox fear of not being leveled up. Uh, we're gonna go with Surf and hope for no recovery. <laughs> no! Uh... Alright, see so how much Surf does. There's not a lot. Really wish I had Thunderbolt right now. In a big way. Um, right, maybe she'll be stupid and won't. Never mind. Okay. The thing is that her Starmie is not going to be able to kill my Starmie. Like, ever, right? 
Like, it's just, it's not happening. Let me fresh water up. Frankly, Brynwraith... Or no, not Brynwraith, um... The guy we're training, man. Um, unless we have Ice Beam, Clairot might be able to actually tank some right here. Find out. Yeah, if the only move it's got is Surge. I mean, it might have Psychic as well. But, uh, let's see. Okay, that up. Um, yeah, let's go for Stun Spore. Let's go for some Stun Spore. Watch. No, what? <laughs> I just want to say that, um, Art of Starmie when it had that blizzard was going on, it was all gold. It was like Starmie Break, I guess, right? Pretty cool. Um, but we'll go Grin Wraith. And I feel like we really need to drop a Thunder, honestly. Like, we'll probably live this Surf from full. Not comfortably. There you go. Brain Wraith is ace on all these thunder hits, by the way. Alright, so yeah. Starmie, massive threat. Just because it has recover. <laughs> Still two left. Um, we're gonna go into Juna on that, because at least we can hit that with Psychic Stab. I'm trying to think if Octo Guy has any... Particularly good, like, darker ghost moves. I don't know, we're in a side beam. Wait, I thought it had. Oh, yeah, side <laughs> I thought it said side beam for a second. But wait a minute, no. That hyper beam. Uh, that won't kill, right? Yeah, it's not stab. I'll just kill it with two psychics. Recharge, um. I could click Recover, honestly, but I'm not. Well, I probably should have, actually. Because if he, the only way he's going to deal that much damage is Hyper Beaming again. Then I basically get a free turn. So, probably should have recovered. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> get the heck in there, Cayman. I literally made a joke like three episodes ago on a video description that Lugia keeps getting printed as water type in, in the card game. Um, um, well, it probably has Hydro Pump, which is awful. Um, I guess Agility? Oh my word. Okay, unbelievably came and survived. Like, pretty well, actually. And has lefties. Alright, Cayman, we can get this. We can win this. We're winning this. Let's go. I should have healed our correct character. And now here's the thing about Hydro Pump, right? First off, it might miss. Second off, it might crit. <laughs> Third off, it has 5 PP. Alright, so Hydro Pump number 3. The good thing is it's unstabbed, and there's no rain, right? I feel like that's doing like just under half. We're just gonna keep spamming lemonade. Number four. It's gonna be so dicey. <laughs> Alright, she's got one chance to crit. Unless she's got PP max. Alright, I just now we're in this. Alright, good. Alright, we're gonna, I think we we SD and we swords danced, right? So we're just gonna here to steal wing. Uh, I can also revive Clarock if I wanted to. Alright, Arrow Blast, really cool animation, but it is resisted. Oh no, it's not, actually it's flying type, right? Uh, I seem to recall that actually has a high crit ratio. So I'm not gonna take any chances on like trying to revive Clarock. I want damage on this thing. Plus, it might have recover. I'm pretty sure Arrow Blast has a high crit ratio. Oh no! 
Oh no, Cayman. Uh, Juna, save us, please. Save us with Ice Beam. No! <laughs> Alright, here's the deal. Um... Alright, who do we want? Okay. We're still- we're still good, we're still good. Um... I just need to- we can buy Maximize in this game, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna ma- I think Cayman's probably the safer bet because he won't die to a crit. I don't know if Juno would die to a crit or not. Like it's them, it's fine. Freaking Misty, man. Always being <laughs> the gatekeeper. Whether it's no sinners, no marts runs. This game, or this game again. Alright, Steel Wing should pick up the kill. Alright, resist, Resisted Blizzard. It's probably out of Aeroblast at this point. Oh, gotta freeze. Alright, good. <laughs> Alright, Cayman, as he often does, comes through in the clutch. And somehow doesn't get luck hacks out of the game. Okay, so that was pretty much the same amount we got for Brock with our amulet coin person alive. So do you not need to have your amulet coiner alive to get the, the boost in this game? Maybe not. Alright. Well, so yeah, so the episode's gonna be a little bit longer uh, while we do this because I do want to try to do two gems in every video. Uh, but yeah, next up, I guess, is Surge and Erica. I'll see you guys then for that one. Later, days.